Hello, everybody. My name is Scatter. Welcome back to Divine Journey 2. Today, I don't really see anything that we should do other than get back into Erebus. And uh, just first off, let's just clean up some some of these quests. We got some spaghetti there, which is nice. Um, I can make these into a block. I think I may need all nine. Yeah, so we get a velocity block, which not sure if this is going to be too useful right now, but like it says for a mob farm, I'll get that set up a little bit later. Oh, sure enough. I think it pushes you, it says it pushes you at five times walking speed, I think, but um, I don't know, it doesn't seem that fast to me. Definitely like useful, so I'll have to, I'll have to farm up some of that for sure. But uh, it's very cool, very cool item. I wonder if it can turn back. No, it can't, but that's okay. But we got that. And then oh, we get another one for free, which is nice. And then we get supernatural velocity. Okay. Speeds any entity up to 10 times base walking speed. Yeah, so this one claims five. So I guess this one's twice as fast. And then the same mobs drop the stuff you need to make this. Okay, so you upgrade it with those. Gotcha. Okay. All right, cool. And then the only other thing we can do now, I believe, is... We can make this uh, the smoothie matic with some umber stone, which we just get from smelting that. So I'll uh, go ahead and make a bunch of this. Why not? And then we have some bottle, bottle. Here we go. Need a couple of these smoothie glasses. And then some of the bamboo. I went ahead and put some of this stuff in the drawers. Some of the stuff that I had a lot of, at least. So how do you make a block of this? Is it just four? It is just four. Okay. Did I need four? No, I need four umber stone. And a bucket, which I uh, conveniently have in my inventory. Not sure where it came from. Um, yeah, I uh, when I I did I did slash home shortly after ending the last recording and. Um, Yummy. It, uh, the leech, like, stayed on me, but then after a relog, it went away, so I'm not sure if that was intended or what, but, um, you know, I'm not gonna be too concerned about it, but obtain some poison gland from any of the poisonous bugs and a nettle leaf from nettles found in there. The most useful potion, anti-venom, many of the creatures poison you. Okay, I did notice that. Tarantulas and the tarantula broodmother. Okay, so I'll keep an eye out for poison glands and nettle leaves. But for right now, I can't make that. But one thing I'm after right now are all these mushrooms from the fungal forest. The mud scarab, which I need to go to the antlion pyramid. So I need volcanic desert. So volcanic desert, fungal forest. What do we got here? These are just some of the fossils. I know I have some of this stuff already. Temple ore, fossil ore, and nice ore. And then what's this up here? Tar oh, tarantula legs. Crispy tarantula legs. Okay, so I can cook up the tarantula legs that I've gotten, which are somewhere, I think, right there. So I'll cook these up. Well, before I do that with all of them. Yeah, the only thing they're good for is uh, is cooking up and eating, so. A little bit gross, but that's okay. I don't really care about you. So I'll just uh, cook those up and get that quest done. And then that looks like it leads into some stuff with tarantula eggs, which is exciting. How about this? So all the scarabs are from the, the pyramid, which is fine. You just find those in there, I guess. Yeah, everything else is pretty straightforward. So from depths to highs, I'm not sure what this is going to lead to, but I think it'll lead to the ether. Yeah, it requires from depths to highs, right? So that's going to be very, very exciting. I'm excited about the ether. I know that's like a classic mod. I assume this one is like remade from, you know, way back when... The ether was kind of first becoming it was like like first a thing you know what i mean so really don't know too much about it but i'm excited to see what it's all about let's get the tarantula legs don't know how much we're going to use those but get a few okay well we get a few steaks in consolation which is really nice and then Tarantula egg. So find a giant eucalyptus tree spawns exclusively in the ulterior outback okay so, ulterior outback, volcanic desert, fungal forest, and then just these ores, which are probably uh, abundant enough in the uh, 
biome that I spawned in, which was all underground, or it was all like, how did I ended up down here? It was all, um, not underground, but because everything is underground, but it was like all caves and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so let's just head back in. Um, I know I did a lot of just kind of trekking through last time, so I, I'm just going to cut here because I think it would be uh, pretty boring to watch me just continue to slog through this, but uh, as soon as I find something interesting, I'll uh, I'll check back in and we can do like a little captain's log type of thing. Not sure how much of this stuff is going to be interesting, but uh, without further ado, um, enjoy whatever happens next. All right, well, I found the ulterior outback. It looks like I've uh, dug into the ceiling here a little bit. Um, so I'm looking for the giant eucalyptus tree. I do have the full set of no fall damage armor, so I'm not too worried about this. Um, let's see. Is this, is this giant, do you think? Well, is it a eucalyptus? It is. Is it giant, though? I don't know. Am I meant to go inside it? Defeat the tarantulas at the bottom, climb up to the top. Okay, so I imagine... That's not what I'm looking for. What about this over here? Dust layer, volcanic rock, petrified wood. Okay, this is a petrified forest. Okay, wait, let's go back to the ulterior outback. It's one of those chameleon guys. Ulterior outback, I guess, is back this way. So, I, I believe I was here before, even. Because I, I, I recognize that pile of dung, and it's been dug out. And there's a chest there that I will have looted before. Um, but the giant eucalyptus, I'm not sure about. I know there's like, there's going to be tarantulas at the bottom that I'm going to want to defeat and then climb up. But I don't think I've found what they're referring to quite yet. Is it over here? I am still in the ulterior route back. And I wonder too if there's one in every biome or if I just have to get lucky. I think this is the Elysian Fields over here again. Just go, yeah, it is. Okay, so not this way. So it's like the red, red sand, red dirt area. What is this stuff? Red sand, yeah. Okay, well, I'll have a look around here for a giant tree, and if I don't find one, I will just, uh, well, this isn't it over here, is it? No, cypress. Okay, well, yeah, I'll have a look around here for the giant tree. If I don't find it, I'll just uh, continue on my way. Okay. I think this is pretty unmistakable, a giant eucalyptus, right? I'll pick up some more of that. Ah, I forget that they do that. I don't like that. Are you going to drop me? Oh, I've already started the broodmother fight, it looks like. If I could just take all you guys out from here, that would be great. Especially the levitation one, you may be the most annoying. Okay. So... Right, so it looks like I've started a boss fight, right, which is not exactly what was uh, promised, but, like, I could go inside and climb up. I could just fly up to the top, I guess. Maybe that's going to be just not even worth it to do. I'd rather not this be happening. Um, right, so I wonder, are there going to be spawn? There are spawners. Okay, so this is fine. And it said that phase one would could only be damaged by ranged projectiles, which is fine. Because I have my... Oh, that's not my sword. I have my... Um, okay, I'm kind of getting owned. Kind of getting owned. Kind of getting owned. It's fine. If I eat this, this has regen. The regen is not that good. Not good enough. Um, let's just climb... Okay, let's get away from, get away from here. Um, times like this, I, I'm wishing that I kept my slow fall on the <laughs> on the on the sky soar but i'm safe up here and this looks good yep this is what we're gonna do okay so phase phase two phase two begins you can only damage it by melee hits well fantastic okay i guess we're gonna have to go do that <laughs> How bad could it be? Am I just trapped inside of it now? Well, it's it's dead, I guess. So, not not that bad. Not too bad of a fight. You wow. What a what a death animation. Holy shit. Um, really annoying arena as well. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's get some of this stuff put away. There's the tarantula egg. Currently harvestable. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. So there's the tarantula brood mother dealt with. Assuming that we're only going to have to do it once. Which may be a, a juvenile assumption. Um, so yeah. So this leads into birth of the Powerpuff Girls, I suppose. Um, not sure what's up with that. But that's going to be that quest. So I guess just onward. And the main thing I'm looking for is going to be the antlion pyramid in the volcanic desert. But also going to be keeping my eyes out for the, uh, the mushrooms. There's that really epic music again. Okay. I'm going to continue eastward and look for those two biomes. And I'll meet you back then. Okay. So this is like 10 seconds later. The, the biome directly next to this was the, uh, the fungal forest. So um, it looks like we're, we're all here. That's fine. Let me put away everything. So I have some space for uh, presumably all the different types of mushrooms I'm about to get. So here's the dark capped mushroom. Vein mining. I have to put it on all shape. There we go. Yeah. So there we go. There's the dark capped mushroom. And I got, you know, I, I will, uh, I kind of forgot how loud that was. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, let's just spend some time here just getting, getting some mushrooms. Looks like there's a bunch of different types. Kaiser's fingers mushroom. I didn't realize they'd be growing in the ground like this. I don't know what this is either. This looks like something I should maybe deal with. Not deal with, but let's let's try vein mining it and see what's inside. Larva. Great. Uh, maybe should have figured that rotten wood would have stuff inside of it. Stuff that I don't really want to deal with. But live and learn. I really don't like silverfish. Never have real life or in the game okay, so I guess I just need to spend some time foraging here I don't know do I have like oh that's mold it's like it doesn't drop maybe you need shears or something so is there anything I, I need and I don't yet have grandma's shoes mushroom is the only thing that I that I need and I don't currently have any of but I'm sure it's around I just haven't found it yet Grandma's shoes. Okay, so there's some stuff down there. That's got to be that green one. Probably, right? You guys are annoying me. Wait, their death animation is actually kind of cool. <laughs> That's really neat. Okay, there it is. Grandma's shoes. Yeah, so we're picking it up. Like I, like I alluded to earlier, the music I don't think is exactly fitting, but it's it's nothing if not cool. Oh, we just kind of forgot how to fight. I'm not going to complain about that. Hopefully this still works on the Erebus spawners. I imagine it does. What do we got here? Anything good? I don't think so. I got a couple fly wings, fruit pie. I can just eat. How about over here? Some pies again. Oh. Maximum speed bow. I mean, that sounds cool. It doesn't work on the spawners. Okay, well, we can just leave that for now. And just keep foraging for the, the mushrooms here. Have they followed me out? No, it looks like we're safe. Okay. Just keep harvesting here. I don't know if the fungal forest is... Uh, there's like another layer to it. It seems like in some of these Erebus biomes, it uh, it runs, they run like higher and lower. There's like two different levels in the same biome, if that makes any sense. High capped mushroom. Fungal weevil. Some more grandma's shoes. Whoa. Get out of here. Did I have jump boost there? That must've just been from the sword. I don't recall getting jump boost off of it before, though. I must have. Um, is that another botfly? This is just the annoying biome, I think, maybe. Although, I don't know. It does. It's, it's definitely cool. I mean, I talked enough about that last time. I need one more pair of grandma's shoes. And I see one by the rotten wood, which I don't necessarily want to go back over to. But it looks like everything is cleared out by now. Can pick up some more. Let's see, what else? What else do I need? Not sure what this stuff is going to be used for. Probably for the smoothies, if nothing else. But 
I'm sure there's some stuff. So two more sarcastic check mushrooms and two more Kaiser's fingers. Okay, well, the Kaiser's fingers, I know, grow, like, just in the ground like grass. I'm not sure about the Kaiser's fingers. That might... Or no. Sarcastic check is what I'm not sure about. And uh, there they are there. And this might also be it. It has the same color scheme. There's the Kaiser's fingers. This is sarcastic check. Okay. Is that everything? There we go. Nice. Where Among Us hides... I assume that's referring to the Pokemon and not Among Us, based on how it's spelled. Um, okay. So I'll just get some more of this. When the, when it's like, you know, they have like the giant mushrooms here, it's like, why not? It takes like two seconds to get half a stack. Come on. What, what are you? Why are you doing that? Punch room? Punch room? Stop that. Okay. Well... I could use some more of the Kaisers. Uh, dark capped, I have plenty of. Again, I don't really know what I'm going to be using these for, but having a bunch is uh, going to be good. I don't know if the, the Kaiser... I think I've seen tall uh, variants of all of these except for the Kaiser's fingers. So these are going to be the grandma's shoes here, right? Uh, so maybe they just don't grow in like big forms. But that's okay if they don't. Oh, that's a big one over there. I think that might be another rhino beetle. It's a stag beetle. Have I seen a stag beetle yet? Oh. Drop anything cool? Drop anything? Okay. Oh, this must be Kaiser's fingers here. Well, I'll, uh, I'll break some of those. All right. So I guess that's everything there. And I have a bunch, and I can get some. So before I choose that reward, I guess I'll just look into what they're kind of made for, what they're used for. So you can make hardened amber moosh out of the mixed mushroom compound blocks. So that needs all of five types. So let me just make sure I have a, a decent amount of each. I don't have that much Dutch cap. Is that one of the ones that I need for this? Looks like it is. Yeah, so Dutch cap, Kaiser's fingers. So I think that might be all... That might be all of them, and I do have a decent amount of everything except for the Dutch ca Dutch cap. Um, unless, I don't think high capped was one. No. So, there's Dutch cap. That's the one I haven't seen now in, like, a tall variant, right? Well, I guess I can just look around for these a little bit more. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Oh, my God. You look insane. What is this? You're killing the beetle. Crush room? Holy lord. Wow. Wow, okay. That was an insane mob. Got, like, the animations on it and everything. Wow. And there's two more up there. Holy shit. Okay, well... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, let's... Uh, oh, wait. Okay. So, shall I head back then? Because I, I do kind of just have to clear out my inventory mostly. Um, but I'll head back. Maybe maybe make some of the uh, the moosh here. The hardened amber moosh. Because it looks like that's going to need to be something I do for the, the final thing. And then I need to find some... I, I have a a little bit of all this except for the nice rock, but I, I need to find a bunch more of all of them. Um, but I think mainly uh, I need to find an antlion pyramid. So that will be priority number one after I go get all this stuff out of my inventory, which I will go do right now. I also just noticed I have 65 levels. I have no idea where that came from. I assume it came from the boss, but that still seems like a hell of a lot. So I'm just going to empty that in, in here now before uh, before going back. This tank is getting pretty full. Um, I can always just make it higher or make one of those dynamic tanks as well. I don't think it's really going to be a huge issue. Is this going to fill up right now? This, might, it's, this is definitely going to fill up, right? Yeah, wow. I, uh, I didn't think that was going to be an issue yet. Um, but yeah, wow, I guess I have a, a lot of experience, huh? 
I may make another one of these for it. Uh, but for now, I think I'll just get some more of these open blocks tanks and extend it upward. Um, but you don't need to see any of that, though. I'll uh, probably just cut back in when I find one of the antlion pyramids. All right. I've just arrived in the volcanic desert. When I entered here for the first time, I got the achievement, A True Traveler Never Arrives. Unsure of the implications. I also... Oh, I don't know where you guys came from. So these are antlions. And the antlion pyramid is where we want to go. And I haven't seen anything really pyramid-like yet. However, um, in the in the quest book, it talks about uh, nice ore showing up near lava fountains. And uh, to be sure to surround the block with water when mining it out. So I don't know if by fountain it means these or it means the like lakes or... Jeez, man, this looks so cool. <laughs> This is so insanely cool, world gen, wow. But yeah, so this is the first, uh, I'm gonna mark a waypoint here actually because this is kind of far away and I don't want to lose it. Um, volcanic desert. And um, yeah, this is the only time I've seen lava at all, so I don't know if this is where I'm gonna have to get nice from or, uh, or if it actually does spawn in other places, but yeah. Wow, very cool stuff, very cool stuff. I mean, I don't see anything up there, but... Oh, man. All right, I'll, I'll be looking around for a uh, antlion pyramid. I haven't seen anything pyramid-like, although it did say that it could be partially underground. Does it say partially, or does it say partially or entirely? Partially or sometimes fully. Okay, well, that's bad news, um, because that makes it even harder to find. But I guess that, that makes it all the more satisfying when I do finally find it, right? But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just wander around here for a bit. What are these, like, dead trees? Scorched wood. Very cool. Yeah, man, if, if it is hidden completely underground, then... Man, that would be annoying, because I wouldn't even know where to start looking, right? I don't know if there's a way to tell. Probably not, but... It's a very, very cool biome, regardless. Wow, lava web spider so sick okay that's not a pyramid those are petrified trees because there's a petrified forest right there what is this here oh this is nice okay so i guess that's what i'm looking for i don't know why i thought it was going to be wait no doesn't the quest book call it nice or ah <laughs> stop that god sorry sorry about that um does it not call it nice or it does call it nice ore. It can be obtained from nice. So surround it with buckets of water. Let's try that then. Mm -hmm. Nice vent. So that turns into obsidian. What if I don't let it turn into obsidian? Okay. Well, that's why we want it to be obsidian, I guess, which is fine. Uh, or be surrounded by water, rather. Um, is it, like, on the interior of this, maybe? Doesn't mine out the obsidian. This is just nice in here. It'd be nice if I wasn't underwater mining this, but it's fine. That I definitely don't want to be underwater for. Hang on. And that's just all the way through. So I don't know where the ore is. Maybe like under it, maybe like more so on the interior, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll dig around for it. It looks like the nice itself is pretty abundant here, so I'm not super worried. Um, but what I am going to be... Why is this water not disappearing? Uh, what I am going to be super worried about is the antlion pyramid. Uh, but like I said, I'll just continue to uh, have a look around for that. And uh, if... Ugh, I don't know why I thought I could make that. If anything else exciting happens, I will uh, clue you back in. Okay, well, I would I would count this as exciting, I think. I just fell into 
what can only be described as a sand trap, uh, although I guess antlion trove would also be apt. Um, yeah, I just I just fell in. I, I, I must have just fallen through the ghost sand here. Wow, that's really, really cool. Looks like some cool stuff there too, although nothing I really want to give up inventory space for. Very, very cool stuff, and I guess you just go straight through that. Wow. Yeah, very cool. I was on my way over here to check this out just because this diagonal line makes me suspicious of a pyramid around here, but I think I'm just being crazy. Oh, of course, I just fall right in again. Okay, so I just found out what the deal with the nice is. Um, this nice rock here, you can smelt it into the nice rock item that you that the quest asks for. So I'm not sure uh, how to get nice ore, which is a thing that actually exists. If I look it up in JEI... It doesn't give like a spawn thing for it, but that not all mods do that anyway. Uh, but it might just be something that uh, doesn't spawn. It might just be something that you get in another way, but I don't think I need any because this uh, nice rock, this just nice nice block, I should say probably, right, is uh, going to be exactly what I need to get it. I don't know why that scared me, even though I was completely expecting it. Get back, smelt this up, and then uh, I'll be able to get the quest done. Not sure how much I'm going to need, but I can always come back and get some more. Okay, so I found uh, a comment on the Erebus wiki saying that um, in order to help find uh, one of those, one of the antline pyramids, um, you can just look around for a, uh, a health bar to come up, a boss health bar, uh, which tracks with what happened with the uh, tarantula. And uh, I flew around the, uh, the whole biome high and low, uh, even though I'm pretty sure it would be low, and uh, didn't see anything like that. So unless I'm uh, seriously missing something, I uh, I don't think it's going to be something that I can uh, do in that biome. I think it might just be um, not not in that biome. Apparently they're pretty rare. So um, I think oh that's right. I think uh, I think I'm gonna look for another volcanic desert biome and uh, see what I can do there. Also, uh, very bad news, my uh, my helmet broke. So that means I don't have um, invulnerability to fall damage anymore. Um, I don't have a good way to get uh, much more of the uh, the real might either, so maybe I'm going to move on from the uh, the elite real might, although the, the no fall damage was really good. Uh, if I can find a way, if I can get like mending on there reliably or something, that might be worth a look. I mean, I have a shitload of XP, so that definitely would be something to go for. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'll look into that probably between episodes here. I don't know if I have, like, mending or even, like, an unbreaking three would not be too bad to get on there. Of course, protection would be nice, too. But, yeah, mending. I know you can, like, duplicate these. There's a bibliocraft thing I probably don't have access to yet. I will have a look into all of that. Um, right now... I'm just going to, so that gets you, yeah, four. Okay, I'll just crush it then. Um, just finish up this quest here. Maybe I'll go back to the Erebus if the need arises, which I'm not entirely sure if it will. But I know this is going to finish up this quest for us. Rock and roll. We can get some more of these. Uh, I think, I mean, the nice seems pretty easy to come by as long as you have access to one of those biomes. Um... The temple ore, because I think you can get you can get the bone shard from regular bones, can't you? Maybe. No, it's just gonna be the bone ore. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll go for the bone shard then. Maybe I should look at what these are used for first, but yeah. So the mixed Erebusian stone. It's a nice building block and also used to progress further. So that's uh, some of this, some of this, and some of this. Just three of each. So do I actually have enough to make one of these right now? I think I do. Wait, no, I think I need one more bone shard. Uh, which, yeah, no, I have enough. So I need one, two, three, four. And there we go. Was that not what I need? Oh, I need three of them for the quest, man. Okay, well, I guess uh, I guess I don't actually have enough for this then. I need a lot more of that stuff. Well, I'll uh, I'll spend some time mining for that as well. 
Let's see if we can finish this up. What are these? What are any of these actually used for? I don't think any of them have like different usages from each other. I'll go for the Dutch cap then because that seemed like the hardest to come by. And uh, for the basic tarantula. The black tarantula, excuse me. 12 diamond or 2 emerald. I think 12 diamond is just a little bit more valuable. Alright. So the only other thing we need to focus on that antlion pyramid. Uh, I can get some of this uh, this moosh though, right? Just to uh, just to kind of bum rush the quests here while I uh, while I have the opportunity. So amber glass. It's probably just from smelting the amber. And then this is going to be that. And each one of those is nine. So I need four. So I need eight. So I need. Wait. Really? That seems like way too much. So I need eight of these total, which means I need eight of each of these total. Eight times a seventy-two. Man, I need a lot of these. I did not realize I would need so much, man. Okay, well, I guess I'll uh, I'll hold off on that as well. But uh, I'll make a bunch of the amber glass because I'll need that. I won't need the whole stack, but maybe in the future I will. Who knows? But, uh, all right. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Erebus so far, it just seems hard to find stuff. Like, there's a bunch of, you know, gold ore, iron ore, tin ore, silver ore, stuff like that. But the, the Erebus ores that I, I seem to need a lot of uh, not really seeing too much of in general, so, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm just not looking in the right places or what, but it definitely seems like stuff is a little bit hard to come by, um, which, I mean, I'm damn familiar with from Atum, which I, uh, I still need, and I'm still dreading going back to look for the, uh, the golden date, but I think I just need to, uh, spend a bunch of time, uh, between episodes here, just, uh, going off and, uh, finding some stuff, but, uh, for now, if you've uh, made it this far, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.